I Loved My Hair is written by Natasha Anastasia Tarpley and illustrated by E.B. Lewis. Let's learn about the author and illustrator before sharing their story with you. Born in Chicago, Natasha Anastasia Tarpley began writing at the age of seven. She wanted to be just like her mother, who was also a writer. Natasha has written a few books, both for kids and adults. She still lives in Chicago today. Born in Philadelphia, E.B. Lewis has illustrated over 70 children's books. With two uncles who loved art, E.B. remembers wanting to be an artist since third grade. E.B. taught kids in public schools for 12 years and continues to teach today. He now lives in New Jersey. Now it's story time. And I would like to thank Sarah Kamya and Little Free Diverse Libraries for providing me with this book to share with you all. Today I'm going to read you a fun book called I Love My Hair by Natasha Anastasia Tarpley and illustrated by E.B. Lewis. And I hope you enjoy it. Every night before I go to bed, Mama combs my hair. I sit between her knees, resting my elbows on her thighs like pillows. Mama is always gentle. She rubs coconut oil along my scalp and slowly pulls the comb through my hair, but sometimes it still hurts. When Mama gets to me especially, gets to especially tangled places, I try to, I try my hardest not to cry, sucking in my breath and pressing in my hands together until they're red. But a few tears always manage to squeeze out. Mama, stop! I cry when I can't stand the comb tugging at my hair any longer. Mama puts the comb down and rubs my hurting places. Then she leans in close to me, like she has a big secret to tell. Do you know why you're so lucky to have this head of hair, Kiana? She asks. I shake my head no. Because it's beautiful, and you can wear it in any style you choose. I can spin your hair into fine soft yarn, just like our grandmothers did at their spinning wheels, and weave it into a puffy little bun. Or I can part your hair into straight lines and plant rows of braids along your scalp, the way we plant seeds in our garden, then wait and watch for them to grow. In the morning, before we walk to the store, Mama adds colorful beads to the ends of my braids. The beads click to the rhythm of my walk, helping me remember what we're going to buy. Tap, tap, clicky, clacky, milk, bread, peanut butter. Roll folks on the street, look at me and smile as I dance along to tap, tap, clicky, clacky, Music my hair makes just for me. Some days I just let my hair be free to do what it wants. 
to go any which way it pleases. Then my hair surrounds my head like a globe. This is my Afro style. Once when I wrote it, the kids at school teased me. My head felt heavy and I let it hang down low. But my teacher made me feel better. She said that when she was growing up, folks counted their hair as a blessing. Wearing, as an, wearing an afro was a way for them to stand up for what they believed, to let the world know that they were proud of who they were and where they came from. I love my hair because it is thick as a forest, soft as cotton candy, and curly as vine winding upward, reaching the sky and climbing toward outer space. Today I'm wearing it in it in my favorite style of all. Two ponytails that stick out on either side of my head and flap in the air like a pair of a pair of wings. One of these days I just might take off and fly. The end. I hope you enjoyed that fun story.